It began quietly, with circuits, vacuum tubes, and human curiosity. The mid-20th century saw brilliant minds like Alan Turing and John von Neumann laying the foundation for the digital age. ENIAC and UNIVAC, the giants of the 1940s, filled entire rooms but opened the door to a world run by computation. The first digital heartbeat had begun. In the 1950s and 60s, a small California valley became the cradle of innovation. Transistors replaced tubes and microchips shrunk dreams into silicon wafers. By the 1980s, computers left labs and entered homes. Companies like Apple, IBM, and Microsoft turned machines into personal tools, sparking a new kind of power for ordinary people. ARPANET connected four computers and unknowingly connected the future. By the 1990s, the World Wide Web transformed how humans communicate, learn, and dream. From bulky cell phones to pocket-sized supercomputers, mobile technology redefined what it meant to stay connected. The world was now in your hand. Social media turned the web into a global conversation. Voices that were once silent now shaped culture, politics, and identity in real time. Every click, every search, every scroll, data became the new oil. Algorithms began to know us, sometimes better than we know ourselves. Machines began to think, learn, and create. From self-driving cars to generative AI, humanity entered a new frontier, one where intelligence itself could be engineered. Information now floats freely, accessible anywhere, anytime. The cloud erased distance, transforming business, art, and even friendship. But with light came shadows, cyber attacks, misinformation, and digital isolation. The same tools that connected us also divided us. Now, as we stand on the edge of quantum computing and AI consciousness, one truth remains. The digital revolution is not about machines. It's about what humans choose to do with them.